Hello and assalamu alaikum students. I am your social studies teacher, Ms. Sayyida Rakshanda Vehra. Students, as you know that we have started the chapter Natural Disasters and in the previous session, we learned about earthquakes. And in today's session, we will learn about the floods. What is a flood? An overflow of a large amount of water beyond its normal limits, especially over what is normally dry land. Okay? when there is a large uh, when there is an overflow of uh, water in a large amount theek hai uh, beyond its normal limits okay especially over what is normally dry land on the dry land so then we said that uh, it's flood okay uh, uh, let me describe you more that when a river overflows onto the land the natural disaster called flooding occurs as you can see here uh, how it covers the land how the water covers the land okay uh, and this can be by the overflowing of the river onto the land and uh, the force of the flowing river spreads water over a vast area definitely water is having so much power okay when it over when the river overflows the water comes with much power greater power okay and it spreads over a larger area outside its banks with great pressure and it destroys anything that comes in its way as you can see here in these two pictures the houses are under water see the the whole area the whole land is under water okay what uh, causes flood yeah what are the causes of flood floods are caused by surplus water in a river means extreme amount okay enough amount of water uh, it usually happens after heavy rainfall that's obvious when it it rains heavily then water uh, you know water uh, you can say uh, comes in you know uh, in in heavy amount okay it stores in a river but river can store it in in specific quantity okay to its limit when its limit crosses or you would say uh, when a river is not able to store or to have more water so it overflows theek okay? uh, so heavy rainfall can cause it and excessive melting of snow and glacier also uh, cause floods as you can see here heavy rainfall is shown here and you can see the overflowing of water from the river okay when this situation uh, becomes more worst or when flood situation worsens uh, when there is already too much water in the soil okay that it cannot absorb more water the river bed is raised by deposition of silt yes when there is more amount of silt at the bottom of the river so it definitely it will raise the, um, the surface of the water uh, or uh, construction of drainage basin it also stops water from being absorbed cutting down of trees that's really obvious when we'll cut down more trees so it will make water run off the mountain slopes it will not hold the water in its root and if when you'll see the video students so you will come to know more clearly about this concept that how tree roots help to uh, to avoid flooding okay uh, dry impermeable soil also blocks absorption of water okay what are the damages caused by flood the currents drown or sweep away humans and animals yes because water have a lot of power strength houses and other properties are damaged and destroyed as you can see in the pictures also roads and highways are blocked electricity and gas supplies are disrupted telephones and other cables break sewage pipes burst and you know what happens when sewage pipes pipes burst so the sewage water mixes with drinking water making it unfit for drinking and another damage caused by flood is crops crop that it causes damage to crops you can see here all these pictures have shown to you see how crops are damaged due to flood here animals are uh, you know they are suffering from the flood for flood water okay and here you can see the whole house or you can see the car under water okay uh, and in here in this uh, picture you can see villages come under water whole villages come under water how to cope uh, with the flood 
uh, what should we do and what are our responsibilities uh, in the situation of the flood. Uh, so responsibilities of the government. First, we are going to learn about the responsibilities of the government. What should government do? Government should create awareness among the people. That's the many. That's a really important point. And then the government should identify flood prone areas and discourage construction in them. Government should build concrete embankments along river and maintain a flood watch and warning system. Okay, then government should arrange uh, for temporary shelters for the people for uh, you can say that for uh, the affected people uh, water and food rations arrange for proper food relief equipment including boats and medical aid properly train and organize workers for effective rescue and re relief and government should move people to the safer places. Okay, uh, what are our responsibilities as an individual? CK rescue workers, voluntary organizations, uh, that we should ensure everyone is helped. Be patient and gentle with victims, prioritize emergencies and deal with them. Okay, students, it's a video link given to